If the economic crisis hit right now, are you prepared? Ask yourself that. If everything fell apart, if the shit hit the fan, however you want to look at it, if that took place right now, are you able to survive? Is you and your family going to be okay? Do you have enough food and water? Do you have enough supplies in your home to make sure that you can ride out the storm? Maybe you don't. Maybe you're new to prepping. Maybe you're just starting out. One thing's for sure. For whoever is watching this video, especially if you are new to this channel, or if you are new to prepping, with a given situation and the world crisis that is going on between our infrastructure here failing, all right, we have thousands of bridges and roads that need repair. We also have a high inflation rate. We have the feds that are raising the interest rate. We also have high inflation in the grocery stores. You all are aware of that every time you go to the store. It seems like the food prices just keep rising and rising. Forget about the general merchandise that these stores are overstocked on. That's their problem, not ours. In my opinion, that's called piss poor planning. What you need to be concentrated on is anything that's going to get you through a hard time. Anything that can make your life easier during a time of hardship. You want to make sure that you do have plenty of food in your home. You want to make sure that you do have ways of doing and collecting water. Whether you're storing water on your own property, whether you have a water source that you can go to. And then at that point, you have to make sure that you have some way to make sure that you can purify that water. Being that you're either going to filter it, boil it, you're going to add things to it. There's a bunch of different things you can add to water to purify it. But those are some of the key issues. You see, folks, we don't know from a day to day when we wake up in the morning what is going to take place on that day. The only thing that you do really know is if you're prepared or you're not. There's no straddling the fence in prepping. All right, it's either you're going to be a prepper and you're going to be prepped and you're going to be ready or you choose not to be a prepper and you think that the stores will always have food in them and the government will be there with their hands out to help you along your journey. Not going to happen. Your best bet is to really sit back and take a look at history. Your best bet is to go back and look at the Great Depression. Look at the Dust Bowl. Look at all these different things that have taken place in this country, in the history of our country, so that you can learn something. Because you see, history has a weird way of repeating itself and likes to come back around. And for those that have paid attention to history, those people will be ready, especially if they lived through any of those periods, any of those time periods that have been trapped in the history books. Because what took place then with the amount of people that was around then, just imagine what it would be like now with triple amount of people and less food and resources. It is going to be one chaotic mess. So the biggest thing that you can do for you and your family at this point in time is to make sure that you are doing all that you can do to making sure that some way, somehow, you have extra food in your home. So this way here, if you do wake up and it's a bad day, at least you have that feeling that if I stretch out my food, we can survive for a while. And depending on how much food you can put away is 
based on how far you can stretch your food. As I have said before in many, many videos that I have done, in a time of crisis, it is no longer a smorgasbord. It's not an all-you-can-eat buffet. Everything gets portioned out to what it's supposed to be. If it's a half a cup, it's a half a cup. If it's three ounces, it's three ounces. Whatever the portions may be, that's what you'll be eating. It will be a very eye-opening experience for those who choose not to be ready. And I hope, if you're watching this video, that you are not one of those people. And if you are, you really need to sit back and take a look and ask yourself, is that where I want to be? Because for those of us that have been prepping, even if it's just a little bit a week, even if you can only afford just a few cans a week to put away, that is better than nothing at all in your cupboards when the time comes that you need it. You see, because this all can be covered under hurricanes, this could be part of any type of natural disaster, war, economic collapse, whatever it may be. It's there when you need it. So all you really need to do is just make a plan. It's very simple, very easy to do. You have the control. Creators like me, we try to make sure that we bring you information and we have tons of videos for you to go back and you can watch and you can see what you need, how you can do it, vacuum seal, you can dehydrate. I don't do canning videos, but if you go over to Alaskan Preppers channel, he does. I also have videos on first aid kits, bug out bags, gear you need for power outages and all that type of stuff. So in the end, you can be prepped and you can be ready because that is my main goal. If you're part of this community, you know that by now. And if you're not, my main goal is for you to be prepped and ready in a moment's notice because your family depends on it. So until next time, folks, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'll catch you all on the flip side.